hello in this video i am going to describe that how can you have two different controllers folder for your admin as well as for your front end uh, this uh, kind of facility will help you to ensure that your application is well organized and you are well aware that where you should look for if you are modifying something into the admin then of course your respective folder will be the admin controllers and vice versa if you are working in the front end then your front controllers should be the folder where you should look for your controller uh, to begin this tutorial first thing you should do is uh, to set your application scope for example if you are browsing your admin side then your application scope should be the admin and if you are uh, trying to see the front end then your application scope should be set to the front end so to do that i have already written a blog over here in that blog you can see that uh, all that steps has already been mentioned the link of the particular post is given in the blog so here you can see that first you will have to go to uh, the config folder app.php and you have to add new key and uh, the rest of the procedure is already described in this particular blog okay so here i'm going to follow the all these steps one by one and will uh, tell you that how can you achieve this uh, for that let me show you my ms code where my fresh laravel application is installed uh, so for the first step i will open app.php and will add two new key one is admin route which should be the slug of your admin let's call it admin for now and uh, the another is app scope by default the app scope will be front so after finish well, after finishing app.php file you the next place where you should go is app provider app service provider here in the boot function as you can see that the boot function is over here uh, you will have to first use your illuminate http request this request will help us to find out some more information about the current uh, oops, url so first we will take the, all the segments so we'll call it request segments so these segments will give us uh, the full path of the current browse current url so for example if you are browsing through um, example.com slash taste this slash page so we'll get taste we'll get this path as an array so the next thing is that we will have to find out uh, what is our admin route admin route is equal which we have defined in uh, app.php all right so now uh, we'll have to see if this admin route does exist in the current uh, path array right we'll call it path array so if in array admin route in path array then we will set application scope to app dot admin uh, oops, app scope to admin otherwise it is already front by default so now you know that your application scope is defined so you can start working further the next file you should open is that app provider route service provider here you will try to modify the namespace so that whenever you're writing your uh, new route you won't have to give front controller slash your new controller it will directly 
recognize that whether it, it should look into the front controllers folder or for the admin controllers folder. To do that, um, we'll have to go to the map web routes here. If let's say admin scope, admin scope is equal to config app dot app scope. If admin scope is equal to front, let's say your admin scope is front, or if admin scope is equal to admin, you could use else as well. Uh, so here we have to overwrite this namespace which is protected so you, uh, this namespace is gonna be app http controllers we will just add front controllers after the drilling slash we'll say front controllers which is the folder and if it is admin then it should be oops, app htv controllers admin controllers so now the next step is you should create these two folders in controller app http controllers now create these two folder let's say admin controllers and the next is front controllers so now you have two folders in your controllers uh, folder and we'll just create let's say we'll now make uh, two new controllers inside first controller will create inside the admin controllers folder so for that let's write php artition make controller admin controllers slash uh, dashboard controller right so next let's check it out here you go now i'll just give a simple response like this is working to give you guys an idea that this one route will go to the admin controllers and another route will be redirected to the front controllers so for that here I'm public function init content. Let's say return. Oops. Hey, this is your dashboard. All right. So let's open route file web.php and here I'll say route gate admin dashboard and i'll say dashboard controller at the rate init content which is the method that we have created inside the uh, dashboard controller.php file now if we save this and go to the browser um, here we'll try to go oh let me start my application first because I guess it's um, still not running so first I'll have to ensure that the application is running properly and for that uh, what I'll do here is that um, PHP artisan show so that it is running on the port 8000 all right so let me go to the browser the browser is here so I will open localhost 8000 so you see that application is running now I'll hit admin dashboard so you can read it over here that hey this is your dashboard the next thing we'll do is that we'll go to the front end and we'll create a front, a front route for that let me go back to the web.php file which we have opened already and I'll add front route say route gate simple page. Um, I haven't created any controllers for the front uh, one so I'll create a page controller. Let me do that here. 
php artisan make controller front controllers oops page controller so the page controller should be there in the front controllers folder now here you go i'll create the same method name init content in the page controller and will respond return hey this is your front up front side i'll just return a simple string stating that this is your front end so now i'll say route gate simple or front let's call it front or anything simple i'll keep it simple because i like that the page now i have to add page controller and then it init content let me go back to the browser so that we can see what's happening over there now i will remove this admin dashboard and will hit just simple oops because uh, i have closed the connection for laravel the application could not initialize now i'll have to run and np php artisan sure so let me go back to the browser and hit simple hey this is your front end so this is how you can organize your front controllers and admin controllers in two different folders and uh, your route file web.php will be able to recognize uh, your application scope as as you have defined it well in the particular service provider so in my next video what i'm going to do is i'm going to have separate routes separate uh, route file for your admin as well as for your front end so let's say for your admin you have admin.php file which is going to be your route file and for the front end you will have app.php which is the default laravel route file so this uh, this way we are going to separate the complete admin side and the front side so that uh, everything is well maintained and your maintenance job will become much more easier thank you